Voluspa, 51 to 55. 51. O'er the sea from the east there sails a ship with the people of Muspel. At the helm stands Loki. After the wolf do wild men follow, and with them brother of Bailist goes. 52. Surt fares from the south with the scourge of branches. The sun of the battle gods shone from his sword. The crags are sundered. The giant women sink. The dead throng hellway. And heaven is cloven. 53. Now comes Lynn. Yet another hurt. When Othin fares to fight the wolf. And Bailey's fair slayer. Seek out Surt. For there must fall the joy of Frigg. 54. Then comes Sigfather's mighty son, Vithar, to fight with the foaming wolf. In the giant sun does he thrust his sword, full to the heart his father is avenged. 55. Hither there comes the son of Hothlin, the bright snake gapes to heaven above. Against the serpent goes Othin's son. 51. Bellows originally had from the north, it has been changed to from the east. The second change is with the people of hell. It has been edited to people of Muspel. As it is supposed to be and not freely changed as Bellows tried to grasp geography that follows, is b what follows is Bellows notes. North, I guess the manuscripts have east, but there seems to be a confusion with the stanza 50, line 1. People of hell, the manuscripts have people of Muspel. But this came over the bridge by frost, the rainbow, which broke beneath them, whereas the people of hell came in a ship steered by Loki. The wolf Finrir, the brother of Bailist, Loki of Bailist, or Bailipt. No more is known. 52. Cert, the ruler of the fire world, the scourge of branches, fire. This is one of the relatively rare instances in the Eddic poems of the type of Eddic diction, which characterizes the skaldic verse. 53. Hilm, apparently another name for Frigg, Othin's wife. After losing her son Baldur, she is fated now to see Othin slain by the wolf Finrir. Belly's slayer, the god Finn Freyr, who killed the giant belly with his fist. C.F. Skernismo, 16 and note. On Freyr, who belonged to the race of the Wains and was the brother of Freya, see especially Skernismo Passum, the joy of Frigg, Othin. 54. As quoted by Snuri, the first line of this stanza runs, Fair Othin's son, to fight with the wolf, Sigfather, father of victory, Othin. His son Vithar is the silent god, famed chiefly for his great shield and his strength, which is a little less than Thor's. He survives the destruction, the giant son Fenrir. 55. This and the following stanza are clearly in bad shape. In Rikis, only lines 1 and 4 are found, combined with stanza 56 as a single stanza. Line 1 does not appear in the Hoxbook version. The stanza there beginning with line 2. Snorri, in quoting these two stanzas, omits 55, 2 through 4, and 56, 3, making a single stanza out of 55, 1, and 56, 4, 2, 1, in that order. Moreover, the Hoxbook manuscript at this point is practically ineligible, in, illegible. The lacuna, line 3, is, of course, purely conjectural, and all sorts of arrangements of the lines have been attempted by editors. Hothin, another name for Gjorth, Earth, Thor's mother. His father was Othin. The snake, Mythgarth Storm, CF stanza 5C and note, Othin's son Thor, 
The fourth line in Regis reads, Against the wolf. But if this line refers to Thor at all, and not to Vithar, the Hawksbook reading, Serpent is correct. That is the end of this set. Please join me for the next.